Hello everybody, my name is Professor from One Edge Barry from Barry Science Lab, and today I will be giving a summary of the Ramayana. The Sarta, who was the king of a kingdom, gave birth to Rama, along with one of his wives. Rama had four uh, or three other brothers, and um, the two most important ones are Varata and Lakshmana. He grows up like some normal guy, and then one day a sage in the local town um, said, Hey, we need help with these demons. Um, these demons are called the Rakshasas. There's not a chance I've pronounced any of this correctly. And these Rakshasas are the demons that plague this town. And so Rama agrees to help the sage. And the Rama is successful because of his divine properties. And for, as a gift, the sage offers him a ride to the nearby kingdom. And in this nearby kingdom, the king is offering challenges to many suitors. This challenge was to string the large, massive, and divine bow of Lord Siva himself. And not a single suitor could even make the string but. And then Rama walked in. He was like, hey fools, want to see me break this bow? And then, while stringing the bow, he accidentally broke the bow. Well, he was a man of his word. And so, <clears throat> the king was in shock, and he allowed Rama to marry Sita. And Sita was the daughter of this king. And what happened then was that, well, the king, the Sarta, was like, I want to give up my throne. And so, he named Rama as his successor. But, unfortunately, one of the servants of the uh, one of the servants of one of the siblings of Rama named uh, Kai K or one of the servants of the parent of the sibling of uh, Rama named Kai K so this parent of the sibling of Rama was named Kai K and one of her servants was saying to her I think that your son Varata would be better on the throne than that Rama guy and so, uh, uh, Kai Kei begs to Dasarta to uh, let Navarata become king. Uh, the king is conflicted on who to give trust to, and eventually he gives the throne to Varata. And not just that, but Rama is exiled from the kingdom and lives in the forest for the next 14 years. Rama, along with his wife, new found wife, Sita, and his loyal brother, Lakshmana, venture out into the forest for 14 years. During their time there, they not only live a cool, relaxing life, but do awesome stuff, like um, kill demons, kill giant demons, get magic bows, communicate with magic eagles, and, um, I mean, a lot of other stuff. And... Eventually, what happens is that um, these, those rock sasas, those pesky demons, they can shapeshift. They eventually learn that Rama has been exiled into the forest. And they send an army, 14,000 strong, to go capture Rama. However, Rama fends them all off with his magical bow. And so, eventually, one of the Rakshasas, named <clears throat> Ravana, is seriously pissed off that all of the fellow demons have been destroyed. And so, what he does is he plots to capture Sita. Eventually, he <clears throat> orders one of his servant demons to turn into a golden deer and prance into the forest. And eventually, Sita sees that golden deer and is like, Oh my god, that's totally not a demon, and I need to get that golden deer for myself right now. And so, she asks Rama and Lakshmana to, I mean, do the deed with the deer. And, I mean, they do. They go off into the forest, leaving, <coughs> leaving Sita alone. And that's when Ravana strikes. He first turns into an old hermit and asks no, and asked Sita if he, she would want to marry him. 
And then, when that fails, he solves this giant, enormous, ugly, his true ten-headed form, and captures Rosita in his giant golden chariot. Rosita is panicking, and she drops Julie off the chariot, hoping that Rama could trace the steps of the chariot and rescue her. Eventually, Rama and Lakshmana, after a long time, are done with the deed with the deer. So they uh, they bring back the corpse of the golden deer, only to find that Sita was nowhere to be found. Eventually, that one magic eagle that I talked about before was really wounded. He was lying on the floor because he had nearly been killed by Ravana. And he said one last time to Rama and Lakshmana, Hey guys, I just saw Ravana go off with Cheetah in a chariot. You should probably go fall down. And, and then that eagle died. And I mean, Rama and Lakshmana followed the advice. And they tried to track down Ravana's lair so they could rescue Sita. Eventually, on their way there, they meet the monkey king of a monkey kingdom. And its monkey king is being advised by a monkey advisor. I'm sorry that I can't mention their names, but I forgot. There's a lot of names here. So, the monkey king go. So the monkey king and his advisor. So the monkey king is initially suspicious of the humans. But then, he eventually gains trust in them after not only his advisor reassures them, but Rama himself pulls off some sick archery tricks. And eventually, um, the monkeys are amazed. And they agree to become friends, have fr a loyal friendship, and, um, I mean, actually go to one of the lesser topics at hand, saving Sita. And... Eventually, turns out that the uh, Monkey King's advisor, not just any old monkey, why the old monkey advisor? It was a flying goddamn magic monkey. And this flying monkey went over and uh, tried to locate Sita. And eventually he did. And he saw Sita being threatened by Ravana. Ravana was like, marry me. And Sita was like, no. And then Ravana went... Marry me or I eat you in two months. And then Sita was like, and then Ravana left. And so after that, the monkey advisor came down to Sita. And then Sita uh, and asked her to come out. And Sita was like, you're obviously Ravana in another form. And then to prove that he was not Ravana, the monkey advisor showed Sita Ravana's prized ring that Ravana could have never obtained. However, Sita still refused because he said, who cares, unless it's Rama, I ain't gonna be rescued. And so eventually the flying monkey advisor sent all of the news back to um, Rama. And Rama led an army, not just a regular like 10 person army, but thousands of uh, people in an army. And these weren't just regular people. These were thousands of monkeys! And th this monkey battalion went and tried to face the monstrous, absolutely stunning force of Ravan. The long battle took days, but eventually, <clears throat> Rama finished the battle off with a shot in the chest to Ravana. And then Sita was saved. But the story doesn't end there. <clears throat> Rama said he could not accept Sita anymore because Sita had been in association with Ravana for so long. But to prove her allegiance to Rama, to prove her new film divinity, <clears throat> Sita asked Lakshmana to light a pile. Lakshmana did. And eventually, <clears throat> both Lakshmana and Rama looked over and then um, Sita was burning in the fire. And then, eventually, when the fire burnt out, no march on her. She was left unscathed. 
And not only did Rama say, okay, you win, I, I, I can still marry you, but also what Rama said was, okay, I was joking on that last statement. You were always worthy to me, and I promise I wasn't betraying you. And that is the end of the Ramayana. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time. It's also really long, so please don't ask me to actually read the entire thing. Bye!